Right, so uh, today it's a pretty interesting day. It's uh, a comical day. Um, so we are expected, uh, and I've got eight videos kind of over the last three months of me building it, um, receiving our windstream circuit. I did some fiber splicing for another company with windstream as well in that build. Um, and windstream, uh, according to three weeks of going back and forth on emails, um, they cannot find it inside their own facility. So it's a huge Verizon building, like it's six stories tall. So what we're going to do today is I am going <clears> to, <throat> I know that this is me right here. I'm in the orange uh, tube and I'm fiber uh, one and two basically blue and orange and then this is a pond that we hooked up for that church and that's green so the plan is i've got uh i've got like a i did google maps this morning to get kind of like an idea um it looks like i lost that already um to get an idea of what this should be according to google maps um, and if I did it the straightest, like how the fiber ran, it's 1,660 feet from right here to the other end. So if we add uh, maybe 15%, 10, 15% to that, um, you know, we should be right around 1,800, 1,900 feet because you got 30 to 40 feet slack loops in every box. So I'm going to shoot the OTDR. I should then get a rough idea of how many feet inside the building their fiber is. Then we're gonna put a VFL on both, I don't know, maybe just one of them. Put a VFL on it in Glint, and we'll go over there, we'll tell them to shut off the lights and see what the hell happens. So I am not gonna ask permission to record inside the building and we'll see what happens. So um, one thing I can argue is your eye can see the red flashing light, but your camera can see it a whole lot better. So I might be able to get away if they come at me with that. I'll try. Cool. So we shoot new TDR on that, and um, pretty much what you see um, when we get well, it's running four kilometer, which I don't understand why, unless I had it set for that. So I got two events. Um, the first event takes place, it's either this or this, and it's basically shooting so strong past you can't tell, and uh, does not see my splice, which is a good thing, and at 0.739 uh, kilometers is the end of my fiber. So what we're going to try for is, um, let's go ahead and we'll shoot uh, one more. Uh, We'll shoot one more on 14 and we'll see what happens there. Okay, so now we're going to shoot on the orange. Uh, we'll hit scan. <clears throat> and still picking four kilometer. I'm going to force, I think I'm going to force it at one kilometer and see what happens. Now here, you can almost, oh, I'll see what it says. It's a graph, it's kind of funky. Point seven three nine kilometers. Um, that's a that's the other fiber. So now I know that point seven three nine. I have to do the math uh, on it, but I want to say it's like uh, two thousand feet, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see what it is. So now I'm going to run some quick math. Like I know, like if we think about this, I got ten feet here. I got 20 feet of slack right there. I got, and I'm just gonna walk it out. That's actually how I'm gonna handle this. Just, I'm just gonna walk it out and then do the math. Okay, so I'm up. I've been walking the boxes. There's construction going on for the louder and shit. Uh, this is 290. Basically what I'm doing is I'm saying 30 feet uh, per, uh, per box. Um, so I'm just gonna say 300 is where I'm at right now. So I'm at 300 extra feet in slack loops. Uh, just counting 30, uh, 30 um, feet per box 
and then I did 50, uh, 60 feet in the, uh, or 50 feet in the first uh, box, 10 in the rack. So we're gonna, we're at 300. So now I'm at, now my math is uh, 2390, uh, 2400 feet minus 300, 2100 feet. So there's, wow, well, we'll get, we'll get there. I'm gonna confuse myself. So there's 330. Let's call that 330. And uh, we're getting close to the horizon spot. Uh, <clears throat> 330. And three thirty. Three sixty is going to be right here, and then. So we're 360 to here. Uh, that's a 30 foot pole. So, and I have slack loop right there. Um, let's take a look at our slack. I think I have, let's just call this 50. So um, let's call this 340 feet uh, on the outside of the building. So I'm gonna do the math just real quick in my head. Uh, 340 uh, plus 1660. That's 17, it's gonna be 2,000 feet. So inside of the building, there we should be looking for 300, in between 300 and 400 feet of before our panel. So that'll be fun. All right, I'm excited for this. It's pretty cool. Like the big, the big boys need this little idiot over here to help them, you know what I mean? So what I've got is roughly what Google Maps says when I did the measure to all the boxes is 1,660 feet. Um, I've got 400 feet roughly worth of slack in boxes and then also at that pole, it goes up the pole, down the pole. So roughly 400 feet um, uh, there and I've got my, my, my uh, uh, sixth grade math skills going on and I am venturing to say inside the building it's 364 feet or less um, to the uh, to the box. Um, so thinking this out now, um, I'm going to shoot the OTDR one more time just to make sure I'm not uh, not wrong here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flop that off. I'm going to put the VFL on. Kirk's got some batteries for me just in case these things don't last over for a long time and see how like if I'm looking at that with my eye it's just barely red but on the camera see how it's got that extra uh, extra like juice to it it looks way brighter on camera so I'm definitely going to use my camera when I get in there um, and use that as the excuse so uh, 1660 feet um, now that I'm thinking that 364 feet, I didn't measure from the pole to the Verizon building because we don't know um, how, uh, how crazy that is. But what I'm going to say is from the pole, it's 364 feet to where this fiber is cut inside the building. Well, not cut, it's just not hooked up inside the building. Um, so. I am happy with this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw, uh, let me see if I can get this. Um, throw our glint on, we'll glint this place up. And now there should be quite a bit of light flapping, and flapping around and over there at the Verizon building. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, leave this be. See, like even that on the camera, you can you can actually see it. I can't really see it with my naked eye. I can just 
right there. That's about as far as I can go with my naked eye, but you can clearly see it on camera. So uh, I got my dummy plug, and this is just my splicer when I use, but I, I don't like leaving that open. Um, so I'm pretty much gonna just throw that back in so it's there. Now this has a VFL too um, on the OTDR, but it sucks because it turns off. Like this will just run until the batteries die. It'll, it'll run overnight even. Um, and then uh, this turns off after like 40 minutes or something. It's like I, I was halfway across town and this thing turned off on me and I was so annoyed. Um, but I'm gonna leave this here and uh, because we do have to come back no matter what and uh, we'll see what we'll see what happens over there. This uh, this sucks, but it looks like everybody's on top of it. So this is um. It's, it's part of our fiber plant and uh, it goes to a box just right around the corner um, I'm still waiting for the windstream people but as you can see this is a main part of our backbone and uh, they are removing uh, this parking lot here and um, and they're going to be putting in a four story building which uh, you know Is, is it but let's walk this and see how, how close we are to getting hurt they marked it across and I think I mean we're we're probably 15 feet down too there's a Verizon dock right here still in the sidewalk so I don't think that's a hundred percent yeah I guess it is well wow. I didn't realize that's how it ran and then uh, you can kind of see us here how it converges to this And, uh, yeah, they have it marked all the way down. But I'm guessing that's probably not going to get disturbed because they can't build a building. Like, they still have to have this sidewalk. The sidewalk will stay, so it's just crossing that road. I don't know if they're replacing the road or not, though. So. All those batteries, dude. Well, I, uh, I did the best I could. Kirk, uh, Kirk kind of kept the dude busy. And uh, I was able to grab a couple little videos, but it, it, it was hard because the aisles were so tiny. Um, didn't really know what, uh, what I was gonna be able to get away with, but did find our light. We found our fibers over there. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and wrap this uh, operation up. Uh, it was pretty fun.